Hey guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another widget tutorial where we are building this CMS application using ASP.NET Core 3 and Angular 10. In the last video tutorial, we finished implementing the profile view. So now when our users go to the profile uh, view, they would be able to see the existing profile details. They would be able to update the existing profile details. We would be working in this video tutorial on the activity log. We'll be working on the activity log first, then the settings. That's because in the settings, we have the update password functionality. So once we update the password, we will check if it's getting updated in the activity. So first let's go ahead and finish the activity log so we can track all the activities we do in our application. So to implement the activity log view, let's go back to our Angular application. In the Angular application, we'll go to the user folder and in the user folder we have the user activity component we'll go ahead and open the html and component ts file since we'll be working on these files here in the constructor we will be instantiating two objects that we would need one of them is the account service and other is the toast service that we will use to notify our users so i've added these two services next thing that i will do is go ahead and add a user activities array that will store all the activities of the users so we can then loop on this particular array and then display all the activities in our ui so this array will hold all the activities think about it as a container that will store all the activities for us next thing we are going to do is we are going to create a method in our component called as load user activity which will be called from our ng on init method so let's go ahead and create this method load user activity. So this method will be called from the ng on it method. So whenever our applications component is initialized, this method will be called and the activities will load on the UI. Next thing that we would do is go ahead and create a, a method in our account service called as get user activity. This method will get all the user activities and add them in this user activities array that we have created. So we will not subscribe, but we will convert the response to promise. That's because we want to wait until all the activities are loaded. So if we would subscribe, then we would not wait for the result. Instead, when the result is received, we will display it on the UI. But our requirement here is that we need to get all the activities and then display it on the UI. So we will wait for the result. That's why instead of subscribing, I have used promise. And then once I get the result, I use the then method to make sure that the result data is added to this user activity array. Finally, I will display a toast message saying that the user activity was fetched successfully. So now this method here is not yet created in our account service. We would need to go ahead and create this method. So let's go to our account service in our services folder. We have the account service here. We will go ahead and add this method that will fetch the user activities from our backend API. So here I have implemented the get user activity method before creating the method. We will go ahead and add the url that's the endpoint that we need to access to get the user activity we have already implemented this endpoint when we worked on the admin panel and we will use the same endpoint to get the user activity by providing the username in the url if we go back to the code over here where we have the get user activity method you have also added another observable object which is called as activity details this method will call the backend api and when we get the result we will map the result and save it in this activity details object if there's an error we will return an error and if there's no error then we will return this object back to this user activity method that is calling the get user activity now here i've also added the http params that's the username in the header i like to place the user's username in the header values 
so in case when I'm creating the authentication handler if I need the username I can access it easily so I have added this value over here we are going to implement user authentication handler very soon so that we can protect the routes from unauthorized access in our angular application at that point we might access the username from the headers so here I have set the username in the headers but for now to get the endpoint values we are going to pass the username in the route by concatenating the value to the endpoint of our web uh, API so this is the user activity method and as we know if the there is any error we will return an error as I explained and if there is any activities we will return the activities so we will save this go back to the activity uh, component here we will not see any errors because now we have implemented this method so we will go ahead and save this and now we will go ahead to the HTML of our user activity and place the HTML code here that's needed to load these user activities and display it on the UI so here I have implemented the HTML that we will use here uh, there's a header called as activity here inside the user activity I have two conditions first if the activity length which means our user activity array if the length is greater than zero we would have activities then we will loop through each activity using ng4 attribute using the for loop and then display the activities in the UI if there are no activities then we will display no activities in the UI so that's all we need over here for the CSS we will go ahead and implement the CSS as well I have already coded the CSS for this component so I've placed the required CSS in the CSS file of the component we have done with the HTML now we have already implemented the backend API so we do not need to do anything over here now our user activity feed is created so let's go ahead and check in our application if we can see the user activity based on the logged in user so if I go back to the browser try to log in now go to activity log as you can see I can see the user's activity now because the API endpoint call was successful and we received the message fetched user activities successfully so now we have successfully implemented activity feed for the logged in user so any changes that they make in the application you will see a user activity implemented or added over here so if I go back to the profile here let's say I change the middle name and I save these changes enter my password our profile was updated successfully now if I go to user activities I should see another user activity added in that list that I have implemented so as you can see the new list was fetched successfully and I can see this new activity that is created for me and displayed in the activity feed so guys today we have learned how to successfully implement user activity feed in our application I've shown you guys how to call the endpoint and how to display this user activity in your angular application so go ahead and download the source code if you need the source code the source code is available in our DevOps repo link is provided in the video description if you have any questions use the comment section and uh, do not forget to like and subscribe our channel tech howdy thank you